So really quick, I'm going to do a quick shoot with the Leica and the LEDs. Um, I just want to give a fair shake to the Leica uh, because I did say the Hasselblad does so much better with it. So I wanted to shoot with the Leica and try the LEDs. I, I started with the smaller LEDs um, because I really wanted to try them, um, which is the aperture, the new ones. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you'll see them in the thing. Let me just pull one up here. So you see the MC Pro. Yeah, MC Pros. I started with two of these. I didn't like the look, so I switched back to the um, Ice Lights and the Rotolite Neo 3. Um, I, I, you know, I, I've done them already. I'm going to show the shoot. I, I just, the look from the Hasablad with that 16 bit color just handles it better, I think. Um, you know, believe me, I love the Leica and everything about it for 90% of the stuff I do, especially flash and regular light. Um, but, you know, for this low light kind of stuff, man, there's nothing that beats that larger sensor. It's just absolutely amazing for low light LED kind of stuff. And, um, you know, the 16 bit color really comes through. So with that being said, I did a quick shoot and here it is. Um, and I, I'm showing you this stuff pretty much out of camera. Um, I did do some cropping, you know, minor stuff, um, but you know, color wise, you know, I didn't do much tweaking. I just wanted to so you can actually see what's coming out. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people who are advertising whatever light they're advertising, you know, tweaks the hell out of the photos and makes them look perfect. So you think, hey, you can't do that unless you have this light, but uh, I'm gonna show my bad stuff and, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Um, but anyway, here's the same kind of shoot with the Leica and the LEDs. Um, enjoy, if you have any questions, leave them below as always, and thanks for watching. So I have one goal in mind with this shoot. One goal only is just to play with the Leica and the LEDs. Now, the very first shot I have pinkish on one side, magenta and green on the other. It's yellowish, I don't know what you want to call it, but it drove me crazy. So I did a white balance on a gray card just to see if I can, and, and I know it's because the light's closer to the backdrop, but for that color shift, now here it just went green with the gray card. Didn't like that, so I'm going back to auto white balance. I moved her closer to the backdrop, moved both lights to the closer to the backdrop to see if I can you know, even out the color. That didn't work. It, it was a little frustrating to start and I you know if I had these MC pros hooked up to the app I'm sure I would be able to see the settings better uh, you know I believe I had had them both at 5500k but I definitely could be wrong it's just they wouldn't connect to the app I had the same issue with the the Rotolite Neo 3s that app is horrible um, hate using LED apps for some reason it's like yeah, you can change this light, but then you have to back out and then you have to go into another light and change that one. Then, Like, why can't they make them like the Godox and the Profoto? Like, all the lights are right there. You know, like, you just touch it and you change the light. But no, not with LEDs. Um, anyway, so I added blue. The auto white balance thought, oh, I better add yellow. So it went yellow. This is why you should always set your own white balance instead of using auto. So after the frustration, I just threw the Neo 3 up, I threw one of the ice lights up, and I have the Aperture MC Pro on the other side. Like three different light sources. You know, here's out of camera. It came out nice. Um, and the next one is my finished, because I wanted black and white for this. A little contrasty, but I, I liked it that way, so I was good with it. Um, I wanted to do a close-up. Now this is just for me, so I can see the, the noise. This is at 1250 ISO 1250 and I loved it, you know, so noise wise it's as solid as the Hasselblad The difference in this and you can really tell the differences in these when you look at the colors of these images versus the Hasselblad the last video I did The Hasselblad has a really very smooth transition with colors even with LEDs low light situations You know higher ISO low light it's the transitions in colors and in tones um, and in gray tones that I love uh, because of the 16-bit color. That's my take from it. Um, I think the Leica and the Hasselblad are very, very close as far as noise and, and the look of it. I do like the look of this. 
but like out of camera you can see the backdrops in focus so it's like you can see the texture in the backdrop and like when I finish it I'm, I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit and make it more appealing but raw images out of camera for these lights is what you really need to see because you know everybody does throw up the images that have been tweaked and toned and everything else instead of just showing you what your camera and lenses and lights are actually going to give you so I mean, for me, I'm, I'm going to stick with Hasselblad for low light studio stuff with LEDs and Leica for everything else, if that makes sense. Uh, but here's my finished image in the black and white, the one we were going for.